Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. He restore my soul. He lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 70 Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee, and let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified, but I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Lord, make no tarrying. Psalm 123 To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maidservant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than enough of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. If you need further assistance or have more questions, feel free to ask. Psalm 56 Be gracious to me, O God, for man tramples on me. All day long an attacker oppresses me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many attack me proudly when I am afraid. I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long they injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife, they lurk. They watch my steps, as they have waited for my life. For their crime will they escape. In wrath cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back. In the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise. In the Lord, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? I must perform my vows to you, O God. I will render thank offerings to you, for you have delivered my soul from death, yes, my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. Psalm 59 Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil, and save me from bloodthirsty men. For behold, they lie in wait for my life. Fierce men stir up strife against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O Lord, for no fault of mine, they run and make ready. Awake, come to meet me, and see, you, Lord God of hosts, our God of Israel. Rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Spare none of those who treacherously plot evil. Selah, each evening they come back, howling like dogs and prowling about the city. There they are, bellowing with their mouths, with swords in their lips. For, who, they think, will hear us? But you, O Lord, laugh at them. You hold all the nations in derision. O my strength, I will watch for you. For you, O God, are my fortress. My God in his steadfast love will meet me. God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. Kill them not, lest my people forget. 
Make them totter by your power and bring them down. O Lord, our shield, for the sin of their mouths, the words of their lips. Let them be trapped in their pride, for the cursing and lies that they utter. Consume them in wrath. Consume them till they are no more, that they may know that God rules over Jacob to the ends of the earth. Selah. Each evening they come back, howling like dogs, and prowling about the city. They wander about for food, and growl if they do not get their fill. But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress, and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you. For you, O oh God, are my fortress. The God who shows me steadfast love, Heavenly Father, as we gather together to seek your presence and draw wisdom from the Psalms, we come before you with open hearts. The themes woven into Psalm 70, 59, 56, 70, 23, and 123 resonate deeply within us reminding us of the complexities of life and the unwavering truth of your presence. From Psalm 70, we learn the urgency of seeking your deliverance in times of trial. Just as the psalmist cried out for help, we bring our challenges before you, asking for your intervention. Grant us the assurance that you are our refuge and strength, guiding us toward your enduring peace. In Psalm 59, we find courage to face opposition and adversity. Like the writer facing adversaries, we confront difficulties in our lives. Empower us to stand firm in the face of challenges, shining as beacons of trust in your unwavering support. Psalm 56 reminds us of the importance of trusting you in moments of fear. As we navigate doubts and anxieties, Help us find comfort in your presence. Teach us to place our trust in you, knowing that your promises and love are unshakable. From Psalm 70, we learn the significance of seeking your presence urgently. In times of need, may we turn to you with open hearts, receptive to your guidance. Through trials that seem insurmountable, remind us that you are our help and deliverer. Psalm 23 paints a vivid picture of you as our shepherd. Just as a shepherd cares for their sheep, we rest assured that you lead us to nourishing pastures. Even through the valleys of life, help us find solace in the knowledge that your presence guides us, even in the darkest moments. And in Psalm 123, we're reminded to fix our gaze on you. Just as servants look to their master, we lift our eyes to you, the one enthroned in the heavens. Grant us the wisdom to keep our focus on your mercy and grace. As we integrate these themes into our lives, Lord, let the lessons of the Psalms guide us through challenges, uplift us in moments of weakness, and remind us of your unwavering love. May our relationship with you deepen, drawing us closer to the source of strength and peace. Heavenly Father, in this moment of collective prayer, we humbly gather before you, recognizing the beauty and depth of the themes interwoven within the Psalms. Your word is a source of comfort, guidance, and unwavering truth, and as we explore the lessons within Psalm 70, 59, 56, 70, 23, and 123, we are reminded of the profound insights they hold for our lives. Psalm 70 teaches us the urgency of seeking your intervention in times of trial. Just as the psalmist pleaded for your deliverance, we bring before you our own challenges, those burdens that press upon us. We ask for your divine presence to guide us, for your refuge and strength to sustain us. In a world that can feel overwhelming, may your enduring peace envelop us. In Psalm 59, we encounter the realities of opposition and adversity that can arise. 
the writer faced adversaries seeking harm, just as we too confront difficulties in our lives. Empower us, Lord, to stand with unwavering courage in the face of challenges, knowing that you are our firm foundation. Like a beacon, may our trust in your unfailing support shine brightly. Psalm 56 resonates with us as it speaks of fear and trust in the midst of life's uncertainties. In moments of doubt and anxiety, may we find solace in your presence. Teach us to place our trust in you, the unchanging anchor in our lives. We are grateful that your promises and love provide a steady foundation, no matter the storms that may come. From Psalm 70, we learn the significance of urgently seeking your presence. As the psalmist implored for your deliverance, may we too turn to you wholeheartedly when challenges seem insurmountable. Help us remember that you are our help and deliverer, the one who walks with us through every trial we face. Psalm 23, often a source of solace, depicts you as our shepherd. Just as a shepherd cares for their sheep, we rest assured that you lead us to nourishing pastures. Even in the valleys of life, may we find comfort in the knowledge that your presence guides us even in the darkest moments. Your rod and staff offer us security, and your provision sustains us. In Psalm 123, we're reminded of the importance of fixing our gaze on you. Just as servants look to their master, we lift our eyes to you, the one enthroned in the heavens. May we align our focus with your eternal wisdom, seeking your guidance and finding strength in your unchanging character. As we integrate these themes into our lives, Lord, let the lessons of the Psalms be a guiding light. May they uplift us in moments of weakness, embolden us in times of challenge, and draw us closer to the wellspring of your unfailing love. May our relationship with you deepen, nourished by the truths embedded in your word. In the name of Jesus, our shepherd and sustainer,